When I was very young, I remember visiting the arch, and I just completely was amazed uh, that this object could exist. So this very important memory, I think, for me, understanding what sculpture could be. So I, I can go back to this piece. I could say that maybe this, this work actually started when I was four years old when I first visited the arch. The exhibit opens tomorrow, March 24th. It's called Andrea Stanislav Convergence en Finite, which is a French term for infinite convergence. And the exhibition is free, and it's open any time that the museum is open here in Gallery 250 in the East Building. And then Gallery 301, there's also um, a video installation of a video called Blow Away, uh, which is an earlier video from 2008. I would like the visitors to the gallery space to have a, a very sort of visceral experience. The materials in the exhibition within the sculptures are primarily mirror polished stainless steel works. I'm using materials that the public can then view themselves within the work and think about their place within history. As humans, we respond always to the image of, of ourself. And with a mirror, there's also the untrue mirror. So we can look at ourselves in the mirror and we can also question what is true and what is not true. Andrea's work is really interesting because she has a lot of themes that she kind of returns to. This kind of convergence between the human and the natural world throughout history. The, the Mississippi River was one of the first focuses for this exhibition. Uh, from an individual that has lived on rivers, uh, we, we, don't, we, we forget about these bodies of water. We might drive over them quickly, but we don't really stop and really experience them. We have the two uh, sort of flanking pieces here of Apogee 1969, which is an impressionistic sculpture of the Gateway Arch. And then we have Apogee uh, 1200 opposite this. This is an, an abstracted monk's mound. But all of these sculptures uh, are having conversations together. And there are these color plays, light plays throughout the installation. We have these refractions that come up on the wall. I'm always concerned about the other physical information that comes out once you're in the gallery. And I was also working with the concept of a crossing, crossroads, and that St. Louis and this, this area on the Mississippi has always been and continues to be this, this crossroads. We also have the four points of the convergence uh, video. For me, the uh, drone imagery is very human in scale and it, 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 to me it, it plays out and it, it sort of illustrates the way we see ourselves flying in our dreams. There's something very human about the drone. The soundtrack for the uh, video pieces is a mixed, remixed sound from Messian, who's a French uh, composer that worked with bird sounds to some extent. And then I was also listening to the later tracks of Miles Davis, who is, is from the, the St. Louis area. And so uh, on the Aura album, I, I found uh, this track, White. And so you're hearing parts of that track mixed with uh, a number of uh, the Messian tracks. And then we've added a few other sound components. There's also uh, a sampling of an eagle call at the beginning. And then the eagle call transforms into some of the, the Messian uh, sort of bird sounds and you'll hear the sort of the chimes and then there's ascension, the organ, and the sound is invoking the sense of flight, travel, and then change. Andrea Stanislav is a Freund Fellow, and the Freund Fellowship is a partnership between Washington University uh, in St. Louis and the St. Louis Art Museum. So every year we have a Freund Fellow for one of our current shows, and that person comes to teach a graduate class at Washington University with the MFA students, and then they go on in the spring to have a show here at the St. Louis Art Museum. It's an exceptional program. I, uh, I think that it, the Freund Fellowship, was, it's also a unique experience for an artist to come into an educational program, work with the students. It, it definitely attributed to how the exhibition turned out too in terms of really engaging with the community locally and researching the layers and layers of history of the city. I, I would like the audience uh, to take away this um, immersive experience, uh, this sort of, hopefully this sort of sense experience of 
transcendence within the work, but where they're, they are aware of um, perhaps the beauty and the complexity of the place where they live.